All right, guys, we're swapping the head gaskets out for 52 thousandths Cometic 5 liter MLX gaskets and ARP head bolts. Should be getting a supercharger pretty soon. Still up in the air if I'm going to get a centrifugal or positive displacement. This depends on what I can find. There's the specs on the gaskets. I'm getting ready to take it on apart. Just got the exhaust off of it underneath. I'll update you when I get it farther along. Uh, got the valve covers and stuff off. I'm putting a new water pump on it too. That's why it's off. But, uh, yeah, we got the valve covers and everything off. Getting ready to pull the heads. Leaving the headers on like I do all the time. All right, we got it all apart. Got the new head gasket laying on there. Getting ready to put the heads back on. Torque them down. Uh, let's see. ARP bolts. And clean the surface. Alright, we got the heads back on. I'm um, torqued down, got some new ARP bolts in it, head gaskets. I measure my push rod lengths. I'm gonna get a hold of modern muscle and give them my specs on my push rods and uh, have them mail me a set out for where I switched the head gaskets out. I had the stock 27,000 head gaskets on it, had the Monar. Dropping rods, uh, Wiseco 11 to 1 pistons in it, stock bore, stock stroke, and it was uh, making 11 to 1 compression uh, how I had it set up before, so I had to put thicker head gaskets on it to drop it back down a little bit. I, had, I put the uh, MLX 5 layer 52 thousandths gasket on it. It should have dropped it to 10.4 on the compression ratio. It was 11.1. .1. That way I can run at least 10 to 12 pound of boost on 93 pump gas and won't have to run race gas all the time. Which I don't really plan on pushing this engine much more than 12 pound of boost anyway. Still on the stock transmission, may upgrade it later, but we'll just see how far we can take it. Usually a lot of people can get low 600 rear wheel horsepower off a stock transmission if it's got the good tune on it or if they upgrade the valve body and stuff. But it's got a converter and all that stuff. You can go back on my channel, watch some of my other videos and get up to date on it if you ain't familiar with it. But anyway, I put those gaskets on there, put the ARP head bolts in it. I was gonna do studs, but I just figured I'd save me a little bit of money since I don't plan on pushing it way up there. That's the revised version of Comp Cam Springs. Some people ask me what kind of springs I run. It's got a custom modern muscle cam and stuff in it, long tubes and so on. Probably getting a new set of long tubes because these ones been on here for a while and they've about had it. They're just old cheap pace setters. No cats, bore XR1 mufflers. Everything's tuned by Chicken Hawk Motorsports in Kentucky. But, uh, I'll update you some more when I uh, get closer along, get it running stuff and on that. Also, uh, see the vac vacuum block there, hooked in a boost gauge and stuff. And I'm gonna use this, this port right here for uh, vacuum for the wastegate. For whatever I go with. Still going back and forth on which supercharger I want to go with. I know I talked about the torque storm. This causes the budget and stuff. I want to try to stay around three to four thousand dollar budget on the supercharger. It's going to be tough, but really want a positive displacement. But it's hard to find one for that cheap, especially for a pre eagle engine. But could probably. Get one for a 6.1 one 
and get the adapters if I need them for the heads. Everything else should be the same. If I can find one cheap enough for a good deal. But if not, we'll probably go Torque Storm and just, I'm gonna, I plan on getting the smallest pulley they got, which is a 3.10, and just see where it takes. And I, I'm trying to get close to 600 wheels I can on 93 pump gas. We'll see what we can do. The goal for the car is just to hit, break into the tens and just be happy with that. Get it going tens for an 08 model. All pre eagle. So I still got the factory pre eagle intake. A lot of people think it's a 6 1, it's not. I'll probably swap that. If I if I go with a uh, centrifugal, I'll probably wind up putting an Eagle intake on it or a 6 1 if I can find one for a good deal later on. But I'm hoping to get a positive displacement. But that's why, where we're at so far. I already measured my uh, push rods for the thicker head gaskets. Should be getting those in a few days. So I'll update you some more when I get all the way back together and get it running again. And hopefully soon get the supercharger on it. Show you guys a little tip on the bleeding your coolant system on these five seven six ones and six four Hemi's and the Chargers and Challengers. Some of your trucks don't have it, and some do. But uh, I'll show you a little tip. I've been using the, the Zurex G05 antifreeze. If you ain't got the Mopar five year, if you can't get it or whatever, I've also used Dexcool. If you're in a bind, you can't find nothing else, you can use Dexco. I've used it and I've had any issues with it. But uh, anyway, I've already pre-filled it and already bled it a couple times, actually. There's a bleeder plug right here on your water pump. you got to fill your system up. Take this plug out. You're looking for a solid stream of coolant. Get all the air out. It's pretty solid. I've already pre-bladed a little bit. See, that's pretty solid string. You don't want no drizzles or, or bubbles or air pockets in it. You can put your plug back in, tighten it up. second but uh, that's basically how you do it just a quick little run through but also now this is just my personal preference but I like to start the engine up let it heat, heat cycle through and let everything run through the engine then turn it off let it cool down a little bit take the cap off and I like to pull that plug out again and bleed it a couple more times with after it's done heat heat cycled and, and ran through the engine but that's just my personal preference. But that's how you do it. We're still waiting on our push. All right, guys, finally got our push rods in. They are, I don't know if you can see that. Manton makes uh, Modern Muscles push rods, most of them custom length. The intake is uh, 6.675 and the exhaust is 7.900. Know how well it's showing up. 83 wall. And I always like to take an air blower and blow through the little oil holes that's in them, make sure there's no debris in there, and we're getting ready to put them in. Got it all back together, push rods in it, head gaskets on it, a little dirty, still got to clean some stuff up. in 
condensation from the exhaust pipes where it's cold outside. I believe the court system went again. Put the 52,000 head gaskets on and ARP head bolts. Measured for new push rods. Ready for the blower now. Hoping to get a positive displacement, but worst comes to worst, we'll probably put a uh, torque storm on it. See what it does. It's kind of spec for a centrifugal with the 3200 stalls in it and the cam that I'm running right now, but really like to put a positive displacement on it. That's all for now, guys. Thanks.